Hi everyone. So today we'll be diving into the two essential yet often misunderstood process that is internal movement and posting chain. So many of you might get confused between what is internal warehouse process and what is a posting change. Okay. So let's get started. So before moving further, let me explain you what is internal movement and what is a posting change. Internal movement refers to the physical movement of stock within the warehouse without changing the stock type or the ownership, right? For example, this is your warehouse structure and this is generally your storage type, which is 0010, where you will store your item. These are two separate sections, okay? For example, you are storing your item here in these bins, okay? And one of these bins is containing one HU, which you got broke, okay? and your item is leaking there. Maybe you are storing not vegetables, but instead of that, you're storing milk item, right? And your carton is containing bottle of uh, milk, milk bottles, okay? And it got broken. So what you will do? For the movement within the warehouse or storage type, we call it as an internal movement, okay? We will transfer this HU from this bin to a different bin. Okay. So what is this called? This will be called as the internal movement. So you are simply taking the HU from this respective bin and transferring it to the another one. Okay. It may be you can trans you can pick it from here and put it maybe here. Okay, it depends. So this is called as the internal movement. I'll show you the configuration step within the system, how you can achieve that. And uh, second concept is uh, your posting chain. So posting chain is basically changing the status of your stock. Uh, so this item which is containing within this bin might be under the unrestricted stock. Okay. So the stock which is lying within this bin is under unrestricted stock. So if you want to change the stock type, you will generally do the posting chain. Okay. The posting chain will be done without physically moving the item from one bin to another. For instance, changing the stock type from quality inspection to unrestricted use or the transferring of ownership between business partner, it update the stock attributes in the system while the goods stays under the same location. Okay, so that is the role of a posting chain. So we're gonna learn about this in the system. So let's get started. I have already opened my system, and you can see this is my storage type, where in respective bins I have different HUs. So you can see these are my HUs which are lying within different bins. Okay. So first HU which is lying within 01 bin is my this HU. Okay. And in two, we are having one different HU. So let's get back. So first of all, you need to set up the internal warehouse process or internal movement. For that, you have to build WPT. So you have to go to SPRO. I preference ING. So I'll show you the step by step process. So you what you need to consider before doing the internal posting or sorry, internal movement and posting change. So let's get to your WPT first. This will be under your cross process. Uh, so can you guys see? Yeah, cross process setting. Go to warehouse task. Here you will find define warehouse process type. So let's see what we have already configured. We have copied from the WPT, uh, you can see 4010 and 4020 as well as 9999. So this is for internal movement and this is for posting chain or transfer posting or you can also build one more WPT which is for scrapping. So if you go inside transfer posting, you will see activity listed as posting change. 
So you have to build your activity area respectively and assign it to a particular warehouse process type. And this one is for internal movement. As you can see, I have already mentioned you have to build your availability, uh, sorry, activity area before configuring this internal movement. Okay. So these WPT should be there in the system. And uh, now we have to pick one HU. Okay. This HU is having one quantity and uh, we'll be moving that from this bin to a different bin. It may be in the six or seven. So we'll be moving there the one that we are targeting so copy this HU is this open a new tab go to one transaction code slash and slash SCWM slash ADHU okay ADHU is a transaction code that will help you to move your handling unit from one bin to another okay a different transaction that you can use for product ad add prod if you if you go there you will see a similar screen out of two you only have to remember one transaction code and you can change from here okay whether you want to target the handling unit or the product okay so ADHU, you can see I'm going into that transaction. It is already selecting the handling unit. So put your handling unit, whatever you have selected. Okay. Once you put your HU number, you can execute and you will find your handling unit here. Go to form view. And you will be seeing the source HU. Okay and the source bin so we will be taking this HU from this bin and transferring it to a different one so maybe we'll be transferring it to uh, which one maybe five okay so as of five we don't have anything there so you can see no five bin five bin is empty so we'll be transferring this into bin number five so for the movement, you need to put the WPT as 9999. Okay. And if you take confirm WT, so system will automatically confirm your warehouse task. Okay. So create plus save. And your warehouse order 558 is been created. If you go to confirm, so you'll be seeing already confirmed warehouse task. You scroll down sorry at your warehouse task go to form view you'll be seeing your source bin is this as your HU has been transferred from this bin to this bin okay if you refresh so if you once you refresh you'll see this HU number will get transferred under bin number 5. Refresh. Go. Pickle stock. You will see no HU number with ending with 58. Now it's been moved to bin number 5. Okay. Now the move item under the bin number 5, we need to do the posting change for this. Okay. For the posting change, we will be first going under the posting change transaction code. So our ultimate ultimate goal here is to do the scrapping of this material. Okay. So for doing that, we first need to do the posting chain. Okay. From unrestricted, we have to move it to the scrap stock. Okay. So the system, the reason for doing that is to let the system know that we are not scrapping any good item okay so how you will do that you have to build the availability group and the stock type okay go to spro share preference ing 
एस सी एम एक्सटेंडेड वेयर हाउस मैनेजमेंट एंड यू नीड टू गो टू गुड रिसीव प्रोसेस कन्फिगर अवेलेबिलिटी ग्रुप फॉर पुटअवे ओके सो है यू नीड टू गो टू यू नीड टू क्लिक ऑन कन्फिगर स्टॉक टाइप है यू विल बी कॉपिंग एफ एस फाइव एंड एस सिक्स ओके If you copy that and change it to your warehouse, you will see something like that. EWM one, I'm using so S five and then six. I have created from the standard. I have a different availability group. Okay, so we'll be transferring this crap stock from F two to S six because they are both underlying within availability group of zero zero two. Okay, once you do that. go to this transaction code sorry p o s t okay now here yeah, select uh, storage bin which bin you, you are having this so bin number 5 if you go here You will see the product with one quantity. Okay, open that. How much quantity you want to change? One. Okay. Two. S six. Okay. Now create the save. Browse task seven six one has been created. Let's go. Go back to the stock overview. Refresh it. Go to bin number five. Physical stock. You will see the stock has been transferred from F two to S six. Okay, now you can see your stock is lying within the scrapping stock type. You can now scrap it. So how you will scrap it? So there is a transaction code for scrapping, which is ADGI. Okay, if you click on that, you will see the option of putting your product and storage type, storage bin. so go back here select only scrap stock okay if you select scrap scrp and execute system will show you only the scrap items that needs to be scrap okay so if you put your stock type from f2 to s6 it will show you the only scrap items okay which needs to be scrap okay and if you do it without selecting this so you will see all the item which is lying within the respective bins scrapping this item just click on this and go to the bin that you want to select for scrapping so if you do directly post good issue it will scrap this item okay or if you want to change the quantity okay for example if your bin is containing or hu is containing more item like example 10 items how much quantity you want to scrap from this particular uh, a targeted quantity okay so you can also put the movement reason as per i we don't have any movement reason so you can add on if you want so yeah just cancel it will be directly doing post good issue and warehouse task 762 has been created so if you go back to monitor go back to monitor talk overview execute and see bin number 5 is not there because 
stock from bin number five has been scrapped successfully okay so there is one more method that you can uh, do in order to do the posting change okay for example you want to change the stock type from here from monitor so how will you do it you can simply come to this this maybe i want to do okay this just select this icon and change stock type from f2 you want to do to quality inspection maybe okay f2 to q4 just click on posting chain and it will get automatically changed from f2 to q4 okay if i refresh and see the physical stock so you can see it has been moved from f2 to q4 okay so i hope this video is informative for you guys for internal movement and for the posting chain so we'll be coming up with new different videos for different topics so stay connected and subscribe to our channel